The Iowa Hawkeyes kept the Heartland Trophy in Kinnick Stadium under the lights with a new quarterback getting his first start. Brendan Sullivan took the reins of the offense and posted an efficient 7-for-10 day with 93 yards and a touchdown through the air. Sullivan's longest pass of the day went to the tight end Zach Ortworth for 52 yards. But the most impactful play for him was his touchdown pass to former Northwestern teammate Jacob Gill. That was special. That's something um, that we, we, we've prayed about, something that we, we've talked about since we got to Northwestern. We uh, haven't connected on one before, and so you know, just being able to do it with him and then some, a guy that I've, I live with, a guy that I've lived with since I, I've been in college, is just that was really special. He's my brother, I love him to death. So it was awesome to have that connection. You know, after I scored, I told him I love him. He, he told me he loves me, and uh, it's just just a great bond that we have. But while Brendan Sullivan, the passer, played clean, efficient football, Brendan Sullivan, the runner, added a new dimension to offensive coordinator Tim Lester's system. Sullivan finished the day with 58 yards and a touchdown on the ground, but the numbers don't tell the whole story. He was one intentional grounding penalty away from 72 rushing yards. It's, it's stupid in college. Oh, that's negative uh, rushing yardage, right? No, it's just that's a bun, bad rule too. And he set up Caleb Johnson's third rushing touchdown of the game in 20th of the season with a run down to the half yard line, being down to just shy of a second possible rushing touchdown. We won 42 to, to 10 today, so that's the only thing I care about. That's what make, puts a smile on my face. Is the, the team play well? I'm not really too much worried about what, what my stat line says. Sullivan's legs created a strong one-two punch in the backfield that defenses have to account for. Coach Lester's offense, as it is, is just is open. Uh, it opens up the defense a great amount. But uh, adding that extra uh, running ability that Brendan brings uh, just just makes us a lot more explosive. The Hawkeyes hope to get Caden McNamara back, and they've yet to announce who will get the start as the team heads out west to UCLA this Friday. From Kinnick Stadium, Brady Barron, DITV Sports.